that a lot of scientists now say that dreams have no significance at all. I mean, they're just noise. They're sort of the byproduct of various neurological functions in the brain. What do you make of that argument? Well, it sort of got started with Alan Hobson discovering that rapid eye movement sleep, which is the stage when most dreams occur, ha is triggered by some firing very low in the brain stem upward. And that does seem to initiate that stage of sleep. But he sort of, he, he did some very good research on identifying the cells that are doing this. But then he went on to have this theory that that meant that it was a completely bottom-up phenomena, that the cortex was just responding to this and that it meant that dreams were random and meaningless. And there's been a lot more neuroscience since that has demonstrated that even if that initiates the state, that there's lots of top-down and horizontal brain activity going on. Um, and it is a distinctive state. Some brain areas are <coughs> ramped up and others are damped down compared to when we're awake. But the cortex is very active and it's very much running the show and there's no reason to think it's less meaningful than waking thought in terms of the brain science of it.